am going to loop a loop. I'm now going to show you how to bring in all the necessary IMVU nodes to set up this box as a seat to have an avatar sitting on it ready to export. Um, what I will do is I'll start off with a single seat then I'll show you how to put more in. So what we need to do is open up the IMVU. I use the base couch um, it's downloadable from IMVU. I will put a link in the description where you can get it from. So what I do is I merge the file usually and I actually need to go and find the file. Should really have had this sorted by now, but never mind. Um, and I have one in here. Uh, one folder, official. I just keep a folder with all the files in. So we'll go to the couch file and double click it. Now, what if we look at the list of what's in that file, this is what IMVU give us. We don't need the couch mesh because we have our own mesh. I usually bring in the what they call the guy setting, which is the avatar like this one here, just as a reference and shows which way everything's facing. We need the roots, we need a catcher, a handle, a picture, a seat, and I actually don't bring the sitting positioners in ever. So I'm not going to. And we're only going to put one seat on, so we only need the first one of each. We don't need the second one. Um, if you bring them in, you can always delete them afterwards. It's not a problem. So if I hit OK, you will see that we have the bits in here. Now it's going to get cluttered. So what we'll do is you can either delete this or you can select it. Right click on your screen and hit hide selection. And that just hides that so you don't need to look at it. Now, I quite often, I'll, you need to keep checking from all the different angles and views just to make sure you're getting things right because it may look fine from the front but you're way off on the side and vice versa. So I usually work on the four, four views here. Um, if you do want to check one in full screen, just select the window and you're hitting this button here to bring it into full screen and the same again to bring it back. Now the root, which is actually here, you don't move. That, sh that should be, if you merge it in from my view, it should be centered already. Um, and you see down the bottom it's perfectly centered. Now this button up here, if you don't know what it is, it brings up the select list. It's easier than trying to use your mouse to click on bits and pieces. You can actually select them by name so I just normally grab the whole the whole set of the nodes and the guy setting. Now the guy setting is it shows you you know where he's going to be positioned and stuff. You need to remember to allow for the default avatar movements when they lean back and lean forwards and the legs move but it's generally a good indication of whether your, your seat's in the right position. Now I just normally grab him, move him do them by the top view first, then maybe have a look further in on the side view. I think that would be fine. And the front view, he's pretty bang on. So that's literally it. That's your that's you set up ready to export with a seating node on. Now, if you want to, um, you could either merge in again, like we said, but the second set, or you can actually copy this set. <coughs> now to copy them, I've still got them all selected. If you deselected them, just go back and grab them again. I always copy it with the guy, so I may have multiple versions of this guy, but it doesn't matter. You don't export those bits. So I hold down the shift key, grab the grab the handle there and pull it along with the shift held down and it'll say the clone objects and we want to make a copy. Now when we go in to look at the names you see these have been renamed by Max. Now Max has done it logically but it's not correct for IMView so we need to go in and manually name these ourselves. So it doesn't have the O1 at the end and the number one here will need to get changed to number two. And 
because we need to do this for the picture. And we'll call that number two as well. And the seat. And the handle actually does auto rename itself. You never need to worry about that. So that's you having two seat nodes with pitches and catches. The pitches and catches relate to your hugs and your avatar actions, your interactions. Um, you can move the pitches and catches. So, um, for example, this box was maybe a stage. You were sitting on a stage and you know you don't want to be hugging in the middle of the air. You want to move them move them down so you're hugging on the floor level for example you need to move them together so you select the picture and the catcher together and you can move them up down wherever you want the people to be hugging um, keep them on floor level keep them out of other furniture is my advice um, you'll find that in iron view if you ever come across mesh where you go to hug another avatar or do any of the actions and it's like you're doing air hugs, you're mid-air or you miss them completely. The problem with that is the whoever's done the mesh or the file that they've used, the pitches and catches have been moved off each other. The position that you'd merge them in is the correct one. Move them together always. Don't ever move them individually. If you do, grab another set, copy them you know a set you know works copy them and rename them um because the hugs are going to be broken or whichever actions you want to use so that's basically how to set up one or more sitting spots on the on the well on a box or wherever you want to be now if you want to take the sessions the second spot here this guy doesn't have a box to sit on and we won't bother making him one. We'll have him standing next to it. You need to select his seat. Now, if you notice, it's called seat2.sitting. I and you have two different naming conventions I can use for that. It's either dot .sitting or dot .standing. So if you want to make him standing, we'll put him standing. Um, and although you know the avatar you see in there doesn't change, the avatar will be standing in eye in view in its default standing spot. Now, if you want to use the spot with a specific pose that you've created, what you have to do is name it. Um, for example, the pose I'm going to call it. Um, standing on my head standing on head for example and you should capitalize it so when that goes into iron view if you don't associate an action with it I think it just goes into a regular standing spot but if you are using um, poses of your own, you need to set up in Previewer with the name that I've just put at the end there, standing on head in your um, action setup, which again, I can show you at a later date. Okay, that's all for this one. Next tutorial, I will show you how to export this.